Hello, it's Alistair Creelman here, and uh, I'm going to tell you about how to take part in a tweet chat. On the Open Network Learning course, we have a number of tweet chats or Twitter chats. And uh, this is just quickly to explain what it's about and give you a little introduction. So, tweet chats, Twitter chats, they are basically synchronous text discussions on Twitter. So you go on to Twitter and you discuss with colleagues, members of the course or other people. You have a moderator in a tweet chat. Uh, the moderator asks the questions and you will answer them. Uh, you don't have to answer them. You answer them when you want to. Or you can just read it, just follow. Many people use the first tweet chat simply to look and see what's happening and when you feel you want to contribute then do so but the more people who contribute the better the discussion it normally takes an hour and it's uh, pretty fast if there are a lot of people involved in the tweet chat then uh, the the messages come in thick and fast and it can be a little bit confusing when you see them all just coming in one after the other. Sometimes it's hard to read everything. Don't worry. Don't try to read everything. Read what you can. Respond as you can. Take your time. Uh, afterwards, you can go into the summary and read it through again. Very often in tweet chats, you'll find lots and lots of really interesting links and good ideas and suggestions that you can use in your own work and, and in the group work on the course. If you want to see an example of a tweet chat, here is one. It's from the ONL191 course in the early part of uh, 2019. And that's a short link, so if you just take a note of that link or stop this recording, note the link and then go to it, you can see what a tweet chat looks like. So, to take part in a tweet chat, you can use the Twitter interface on your computer or your mobile or your um, tablet. Personally, I like using Twitter on my laptop because I can type an awful lot faster on the laptop and I've just got more space to do things than I can on a mobile, but some of you are good on mo at mobiles. You can use the Twitter interface, but I would also recommend thoroughly the interface TweetDeck, tweetdeck.twitter.com. The advantage with TweetDeck is that you can have several columns, so you can have a column for the tweet chat. Uh, you can have a column for mentions. When people mention your name, it's good to know that you're being mentioned and you can reply to that and seeing your normal feed as well. So if you like to be able to multitask a little bit and see different columns, um, that's the best tool, especially if you're moderating. Here's how it goes. Uh, <clears throat> here the Open Network Learning account is starting off by saying that uh, I'll ask a question, you label it Q1, Q2, Q3, so question 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on. When you see that, uh, that's just explaining what to do. Notice that at the end, there is always the hashtag. So the hashtag is the key. So that when you go on to Twitter, or to TweetDeck, make sure you're following this hashtag, ONL. 191 or 192 or whatever the number for the course is. So be careful you get the right hashtag because that has to be in every single tweet otherwise the people will not see it. So here's the first question. So question one, how, where to start with designing a course? What do you need to start? Hashtag ONL191. So that's how the first tweet will look. You could reply to this message by clicking there and then you will write a reply. Make sure you reply using the hashtag. You can retweet this. If you see a message, a tweet that you would like to repeat uh, and tell your followers about it, then you click on that button. That means you basically retweet, you, you send it on. You can like this tweet. That doesn't really mean very much, but for the person who's written it, they might enjoy that several people have liked it. So just by clicking the heart, that means that you like it. 
The three dots are other actions, and there you get a menu of different things you can do. The things like like uh, reporting, and if there's an offensive message or there's a, a spam message, you could report it that way. You can also send a direct message that way to the person who sent it. To answer a question, <clears throat> so if you've got question one, you formulate your answer. And you can see here that uh, there's quest Q1, an answer as short as you can, and then the hashtag, and then press the tweet button. You could add an image or a video if you think that will help. You can answer a particular person. So when you answer that person, you'll get their Twitter name, and then you answer them personally, and then you put the hashtag at the end. That means that this person will see that you have answered them, but everyone who is following ONL191, the hashtag, will see your answer to that person. You can retweet with a comment. So here I have, uh, I have written something here with a question and then a little bit here and I've put the hashtag. This person, who will remain anonymous, has pressed this retweet button here and has added a, a comment. They've also put in the hashtag to make sure it is seen in the flow and then some comments on what I've written. So everyone else following the chat can see that here's my, here's Alistair's comment and here's a new comment on that comment. So you can, it's like having a discussion with that person and you let everyone else see it. That's roughly how you take part. The best way to learn is to watch at first, see how other people do, and then join in. And when you join in, just always be sure, use the hashtag, otherwise we don't see you. You don't turn up in the discussion. You'll dis your comment will disappear. So uh, that's the main thing to remember. See you in the next tweet chat. Goodbye.